All right, for your second part, and we're still here. Okay, yesterday I was completely out of the shot, I realized, so I couldn't see anything just like right here. <laughs> Welcome back, Libras. Um, we're gonna see what your cards are for today. So I'm gonna do a shuffle on the table. I'm running out of space. Uh, I've been writing a lot of things down in ideas for upcoming videos, and we're gonna do more singles next week. So if you tune into Libra Light, it will be more of a singles channel coming up, okay? Let's get, thank you, first message, woo. We have, oh no, we have the worst card probably. We have the devil. We have somebody trying to approach you with possibly, um, I would say it's like ill intentions, okay? Um, it doesn't feel good, like when I turned it over, it did not have the best of intentions. I feel like too, that could be someone like coming back from the past as well. It says also, it's restriction it's also maybe even you isolating yourself restriction isolation temptations and destructive behaviors on the card so we have a capricorn or you're associated to a capricorn that could also be its meaning so it says here the earth decan number 15 something could have happened on that date too perhaps may 15 or even in june okay another one wants to slip out three of pentacles that just slipped, you guys saw it in the cami, in the camera. All right, this doesn't have like um, the best vibe. It looks like someone just reaching out to you, perhaps to work with you. We'll see what that is. That could be involving a Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands that we previously saw in the video? And I left all the energy out here too. Cancer, okay, it could be a Cancer sign, Cancer male, Cancer moon sign. They're traveling toward you. They do want to make the trip is what I hear. Some of them might need to drive because that's a movement based card number seven. So a Cancerian could be wanting to work with you, but it's not driven by the best desires or this person has cancer in their chart and they're making headway to you. That's what I have so far, clarifying this Knight of Wands. Also, I left the energy here because your first reading was quite fascinating. So if some of you resonated over there, part two is here now. This is the person coming toward you. If you see, there's motion in both of the cards today. The Knight of Wands carries motion. He's always been a traveler and he's fast and then clarified by the blue card in the chariot. That could very well be your own movement too. Wanting new things, wanting new experiences. If you're a feminine Libra and you're more on the single side, you could be your very own Knight of Wands. But just remember, don't give in to temptations around you. The devil was a warning card, right, with Cappy. So let's see what else is going on here. I also left her out, that was it. So let's see what the Empress is feeling today. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of July 4th celebrations, obviously, for many of you. Six of Wands was my bottom of the deck card too with Leo. All right, so she's living in success. The Empress has either been recognized, this can also be like, it could be reaching into abundance of being recognized for something or at work, you're getting all the accolades, something is positive. Your rapport with others is positive, but this can also bring about jealousy, my Libras, because when you're in a season of winning, there are people also that don't wanna see you winning. <laughs> um, let me read the Six of Wands card to you guys. Signified by Leo, you guys can see it's little insignia there with the squirrely tadpole. It says, Six of Wands, you have earned every one of your successes, public recognition, victory, there's progress in your life on the up, and self-confidence. Self-confidence. I do think, and I'm getting a channel for just but one person on the channel, you could have had like a lonely last two to three days but there's a turnaround. It, there is a quick turnaround. This could just be an energy in your life. Um, I feel like for me, the Knight of Wands is not always a guy or a person. It just means that you've done the steps to become a Knight of Wands or there's an interchange here that happens in your life, perhaps by being around other people in the Three of Pentacles because it's a community-based card, sometimes family, and that reads learning, implementation, building something, collaboration, teamwork. What's the Three of Pentacles in life? How does that show up for the Libras and anybody here that's vibing with this exact message? Again, you could be a Sagittarius and this is your message. Obviously, Sagittarius is also in this card with fire. 
we have just it. Yeah, things are being righted. Your collaborations or even your new ones um, have stepped up for you. If you've been single for a while and you've been detached or broken up from someone, there's a level of justice that's been going on whether you could see it or not. Whether you can see it or not, right? This can even be spiritual for a lot of you. Your angels have guided this path. They've given you back fire or there's a destiny here where you're needed as this solo person. And also in the six of wands, he's a victor. He's won the war type of feeling in this card. He's coming home for his own personal parade. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, there's like, I feel support in these three cards, especially with the queen of cups in your aforementioned reading. She's the card of support and emotionality. Also psychic ability too, okay? What are the love cards, please? Love cards from the teacher's tarot. And the teacher's one looks like this. It's absolutely divine and beautiful on the back. It almost looks like a stained glass window in Venice. Like that's, it's just so beautiful. If you guys wanna kind of learn slowly with tarot, this is the perfect deck to do it. And I got it on Amazon. We have the high priestess and the five of swords. Definitely learning through deceit, pain, disappointments. Many of you are moving upward. Um, this can also mean that your mood changes today because she's the card that knows everything. And masculines, if you even resonate with high priestess energy, it's because you know something, okay? And you feel like you've made um, decisions that have been in accordance to this, if I could put it that way. And I'll try to get in the shot too, I'm sorry. So the Aquarius card here, it is about you know, learning through those disappointments. Maybe even some of you, the Five of Swords is being single. I'm going to say it, and I'm gonna be brave to say this in the morning, because now, now I got my juices flowing. <laughs> I do think it's because you've held on. There's something about, Aquarius is about being innovative, uh, moving people, inspiring people too. Aquarian sun signs, because they're the star. Um, I feel like it's you moving past this five of swords, which could have even been a divorce for some of you, or it's something going on with personal relationships. I even wanna go ahead and say here like a bully of some kind in the five of swords, because you can have an adult bully. There are people that do that. And so I think justice is here reforming what's going on in your life. And also it's making some switch ups so in the future things can be easier things can be easier, perhaps by your own hand, Empress, because you are justice. You're the one that sets this tone. If you've ever been born under a Libra sun sign or moon or rising, you know how this works. You actually understand the properties of the card. Okay, that's too deep, but I think many of you who've been on this journey for a long time with me, you understand when I say that. Okay, um, what else is happening here too? High Priestess for July 4th weekend. That's a big card to appear as you. It's the star card. I told you there's something Aquarian going on. We are, um, our um, we um, our reading on Tuesday. If you guys remember, it was a moon card. It was the new moon in Aquarius card with the advice. It's been the stars since that day, okay? Um, and I don't wanna get cheesy. Uh, cheesy, cheesy and weird, but it, it has been the star card since that day. So we're learning and growing through the star card that there's been implementations of hope and faith. Also, and because some of you like it, when I read it, it says your dreams are coming true on the card. So in preparation mode for something. It also shows here um, the heart chakra. I can see that in the corner. It says fortune, good news, good omen, rejuvenation exactly what the star card is too so and let's knock on the table and um, the justice card please in the morning to the star this is a person for me when I do personals this is a declaration of personal peace it's also joy some of you could be the celebrator person having it at your house July 4th weekend it's an American holiday of course for our independence but <laughs> maybe you've claimed your independence as well Okay, this is like a personal piece saying, I don't include devil energy in my life. I don't want anyone trickering me or pulling wool over my eyes as well. I've learned from my five of swords, which is on the damn table here today. Um, I've learned from my five of swords. You could have been dealing with a self-righteous Aquarian, a Pisces, 
even though they're really, really nice people. Rihanna's a Pisces, and we also have a Cancer here. Those are my heavy hitter possible signs. Of course, they can also take the properties of where the sign is from, like Cancer's water. Okay, Swords is air. Um, also, the star can be its air too, excuse me. So let's see what else we got. What's coming up in the likely outcome of this communication with the Knight of Wands and the Empress? Four of Pentacles, frugality, the miser energy. So somebody will let you know that they've been holding on to you this complete whole time, whether that be a page of swords or somebody has been holding on to you for security reasons. <laughs> You're the security chest, Libra. And then we also have the Hierophant. They view you as very, very spiritual, enlightened, and a teacher. That's the Hierophant. Ten of Wands is what I have at the bottom of the deck. I think you've been struggling only because, and it's burdens, remember, you're struggling because you could be single and you're dealing with those things as an independent. If that makes sense. I think someone here wants to be like a Prince Charming. That's what I get from the Ten of Wands, but you can hold it down. You're your very own support. A lot of you too, even on hard days, pull it together. I really, really praise you for that. And I admire you because you never let down on your spirituality ever. I see it here in the comments and you guys are very uh, full of endurance in that department. It's strong too, gets me like, gets me right here. Page of Cups, apology, okay. It reads at the bottom, this was supposed to come out yesterday. It was just in an oracle, if you guys noticed. Creative opportunities, possibility, sensitivity, novelties. Okay, so someone's gonna come in a little bit more cheerful. Um, some of you, this could be a cousin on July 4th, a younger person who wants to also inspire you. This could be a talk to the Hierophant. So a younger person could be coming and talking to you for advice or seeking your knowledge. In your last reading, the High Priestess was clutching the, the golden book, if you guys remember that. You're viewed as all of these beautiful red-robed people in the tarot. And that's my message to you. I could get way deeper on that. I could. Some of you too can interpret. You guys are great in the comments because you actually tell me your interpretation. I feel like these are the higher power things. Now, this is higher self. Higher font to justice is higher self stuff. And you may might have broken through that on a dark night of the soul. Getting real sensitive here at the end of your reading because I could feel it. <laughs> and we have the three of wands. Your goal is also the queen of wands energy. So these are not only challenges, but they're also what create the day. Um, next to the fool card, the fool's at the bottom of the deck. So the queen of wands has fire to accomplish things in her life. Um, she has a gaze at fire energy because it is utilized in a way where there's ambition, poise. Also, this person's very, very attracted to be around. As you can see in the corner there, it details everything in the golden robe. Also, you have Aries here, which is about waiting. You can visually see the horizon and there's ideas and points of interest in the Three of Wands. Also in Nicholas Ashbaugh's readings too. It ended with the Three of Wands with him. What's amazing about this connection with you Libras is 4th of July looks like it's a lot of banter. There's a lot of talk here, a lot of Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're useful in those conversations. You have something to give the entire crowd to think about. And if we end on any big bang, it's because there's an attractive person here that perhaps was a hermit in the past. Um, some of you went on a huge spiritual revolution where a lot of the twin flame soul dynamics and plenty of beautiful, fruitful things that you learned on your journey have already taught you. And it's time to share too. So the three of ones could be about you releasing a thought about your new adventure. Also, some people can see that you're living in it as proof. And uh, I feel like there's something on both ends of this to learn from too. I and I don't know if that was too much here at the end as well, but I leave you with these two readings. It was a massive pleasure to read for you this morning, wherever Libra falls in your chart. Even if it doesn't and you're an Aquarium that came here this morning, I'm sure you found your cards somewhere. And we end with a new journey that begins today. I want to thank you so much for your time. Let me know how your new adventure is pan panning out too. I talk way too fast. I have loved meeting with you. King of Cups too at his bottom at the, of the deck as well. I'll see you guys a little bit later. It was my passion and my joy always to be with you.